Back Room Labs Lynx Jewel Lamp. Alright, this is the start of the Lynx Jewel Lamp. Um, it's a Jewel Thief circuit, air core inductor. Uh, this is inch and a half PVC with end caps, and that's 20 gauge magnet wire. Starts there, wraps all the way down to this end here. Alright, here we are. We have three layers of the 20 gauge magnet wire. We got first layer is magnet wire, then a layer of packing tape. Magnet wire, layer of packing tape, magnet wire, and then a final layer of magnet tape. Or uh, packing tape. Alright, next step. I had 12 gauge stranded copper wire. And I wrapped that opposite the way the uh, secondary coil was round. Here is a diagram showing your three layers of your secondary, your one layer of your primary, how to wire it into a 2N3055 transistor, where to put your LED bulbs, your positive and negative to your battery. Uh, the next portion I'll show you some amp draws and the effects of connecting multiple bulbs to the circuit. Okay, here's what I ended up with. I had the 12 gauge wire, the blue stuff wrapped here, and it was way too much so I went with a 14 gauge wire instead and then I also found that in the transistor area you have to put a diode across the base and emitter and then I just mounted everything together here per the wiring diagram 2N3055 I got positive negative and this goes out to the LED bulbs. Okay. We got voltmeter, amp meter, three 12 volt car batteries, all wired in parallel, charged by solar. The Lynx Jewel Lamp Air Core Transformer. We're using two kind of bulbs today. We have the Utilitech and the EcoSmart. I have four of the Utilitex. They're 40 watt equivalent and they draw 7 watts. And two of the Eco Smarts, they're 40 watt equivalent and draw 6 watts. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn the circuit on. We're pulling a tenth of an amp. That's because of the diode between the base and emitter. And that's there to help control the, fly, the flyback to the transistor. Um, without it there, the transistor screams and it gets really, really hot. Um, okay. So we'll go ahead and turn one bulb on. One point six. That's pretty much rated wattage. That bulb's supposed to pull seven, and we're we're right about there. Now here's where the neat stuff happens. When you add a second one, you're now pulling. 0.85 basically. We add another one. An amp. So that's basically 12 watts for three bulbs. If this was on your house power, we'd be pulling 21 watts right now. Here's a fourth one. An amp and a quarter. So 14 watts. House power, we'd be pulling, what, 28? Okay, now for the Utilitex. One, an amp and a half. So, what, 12, 18 watts? And 1.5 didn't change very much. Okay, what I've noticed while messing around with this stuff is your winding ratio is important to, you gotta tune it to what type of bulbs you're running. It, it, this one here is kinda hard to tune because of the way it's wound. You got the inner windings and the outer windings and to get it tuned you have to take the whole thing apart. So I really haven't actually tuned this one. I put it together and that's it. And it seems to work these bulbs fairly well. 
Now, with these bulbs by themselves, the flyback to the transistor, I guess these are less resistive, less, less resistive bulbs, so they, uh, it, they, they pull out more amperage. So we'll turn that on. That's over amperage right now. See this here? We're pulling almost one amp for one bulb. That's super bright. Okay, because this transformer is fairly difficult to tune, um, I'm just going to hang this one the way it is, and I'll use these bulbs to light my workshop. Uh, I'll probably get four more and call it good. Probably have to put a heat sink on the transistor at that point. It'll probably start getting hot when it draws over an amp and a half, close to two amps. Um, I do have another project with another type of air core transformer that is a lot easier to tune, a lot easier to wind, and it lights these bulbs a lot more efficiently. Um, that's the Lynx Jewel Lamp version 2, and I'll have some videos of that coming up soon.